now return to Deep Freeze on Modern Marvels. It's tough enough to clean the dirtiest grime, yet gentle enough to restore irreplaceable artifacts. Blasted onto any surface, it disappears on contact. And at minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit, it's extremely cold. The magic ingredient that's making it all happen? Frozen carbon dioxide, better known as dry ice. We put it into a system that's sort of similar to a sandblasting unit, and we propel the dry ice from rates of 600 feet per second to about 1,000 feet per second. And as it strikes a solid item, it sublimates directly into a gas. There is no evaporation process. It's directly solid to gas. Demonstrated like this. Small quantity of dry ice at a high velocity into a solid item, and it just goes into a gas. The frigid temperature of the dry ice blasting against the grime causes it to shrink and lose adhesion from its subsurface. As that happens, the dry ice explodes into vapor, expanding 800 times its original volume. So there's a mass of the dry ice striking the surface, the extreme cold, and this explosion that is helping to remove the contaminants. The process has been used to renovate nearly 100-year-old roof tiles at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Dry ice blast cleaning removed the built-up tar without scratching the irreplaceable tiles, each worth an estimated $10,000. It's even used to strip crystal buildup in wine barrels and to restore smoke-damaged buildings. Don't want to get your antique book wet while cleaning it? No problem. You can see, as we're cleaning this book, small particles of dry ice are coming out more or less just dusting the surface of the book. Doesn't damage any surfaces that are harder than dry ice. Dry ice on a scale of one to 10 is about a two, with diamond being a 10. Of course, when people think of dry ice, they don't think of cleaning. Dry ice is more commonly known for its ability to keep things cold. In 1925, Pressed Air Devices was the first company to produce commercial dry ice in the United States. Today, the United States produces nearly 2 billion pounds of dry ice a year. Deep Freeze will return on Modern Marvels.